Hey guys, Rorius here. Welcome back to Franbo. So, <laughs> I just edited the previous episode when we got to this point, and I was reminded of how, like, totally nuts this game <laughs> got. Uh, hmm, the flag is waving very hard. Hello to you. I was so not expecting the game to, to come in this direction. Oh, I can't read, that's right. Oh wow, I don't understand. It's the tree symbol, but I wonder what it says. I can always ask. Maybe this guy. Hello, sir. Uh, are you a guard? <laughs> what voice do I give this character? Yes. Uh, Mount C Martin Cottrum. Oh, I see. Do you know where Martin Cottrum is? Yes. <laughs> Where, where is it? Can you tell me where it is? Yes. Tell me, please. Well, tell me, please. Hmm. <laughs> the mountain gotcha is only in wintertime. Wintertime? What are you talking about? Hmm. Of course. Wintertime. What do you think? I can't wait for winter. I can't wait for wintertime. Oh, you don't have to wait for it. You go there. You go there go. Oh, but how? Ah, sorry. I'm not good at explaining things. Go down the stairs and then straight. You'll find a clockmaker. He can explain things, I think. He tried with me before. Alright, thank you, sir. Okay. You go to winter. I didn't ask about the plaque. What does the sign say? Hmm, sir. What does it say on the sign with the symbol? It says what everyone learns in the precise moment of birth. <laughs> that sentence was like tripping me up because it's slightly wrong. <laughs> I think. But we forget its meaning within the first seven minutes alive. So we have to spend our entire life trying to understand it. I can't read it. Oh, but what does it say? I can't read it. Power. The understanding of wisdom. Truth. Lays in the path towards the power of understanding. Wisdom, come silently. What does it mean? Oh, and what does it mean? I... I haven't figured it out yet. Oh, well, thank you. Bye. <laughs> okay, well, let's head down here. Another... F oh, I didn't mean to click that. <laughs> Another green flag flowing in the wind. I wonder what kind of stones these are. Yeah, we now have permanently have Mr. Midnight following us around. That's so cool. A very big tree. I think that's the castle. Yeah. That's Polontris' home. A mountain? A beautiful paper swirls. A boat. <laughs> Just pointing at stuff and saying what it is. I wonder if it says Ithastar here. It must be. I wonder if you can determine the alphabet by, like, I T H. E-R-S-T-A? Ether star, yeah. Ether star. I wonder. Oh, that seems to be the way to the market. A mountain, a tree, and a little water. <laughs> it must be the woods. That's the way to the castle and the library. So yeah, this is the castle. This must be a symbol for the castle, and that's the library symbol. Okay. Let's go this way. The market. Oh my god. So many people. <laughs> Good. Thread, cloth, and thread and cloth to make stuff. And buttons. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> people taking their <laughs> toy for a walk. Oh, what a tiny shop, and it smells really funny. And let me guess, there's dung balls. Whoa, that piece of metal looks grand. Uh, it's our buddy. <laughs> I don't remember what his name is. Okay, I might come back to the screen because this might be... Might need to trade with these people. Oh, is this the clockmaker? What a lovely stand with many clocks. I don't know what the sign says, but it must be clock related. I think clocks are a bit evil, telling you the time all the time. <laughs> Alright, let's talk to the clockmaker because we were told to talk to him. Hello, what are you doing? <laughs> Working on my clock. 
Looking for a wizard. Oh, I see. Sir, do you know where I can find the great wizard? No, miss. I do clocks. I fix clocks. I listen to clocks. Tick tock. Mount Cotram. Hmm. And do you know where the mountain Cotram is? The mountain Cotram only exists in wintertime. Otherwise, it's just a regular mountain. I can't wait for winter. The king said that the wizard would be in the mount in mountain Cotram. Cotram. You don't need to wait for winter to come. That's absurd. Time is an infinitely layered reality. Time is an infinitely layered reality. What should I do? Oh, a layered reality. That sounds great. What should I do then? Go to the big clock and change the season. Just change it. Where's the clock? Well, go towards the castle, but turn to your left when you see the stairs. You'll find a big clock on the tree. Good luck. Thank you, sir. You are very nice. Bye. Okay. Out of the castle and left. Oh, I see. Wait, 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 wait. If I go back this way, I thought the sign... Oh, this must be the tree? Yeah, yeah, okay. This is a very old clock. Where are the numbers? Or a very odd clock. It has symbols and colors, but it doesn't seem to show the time. Well, I guess the time works differently here in Ithastar. Yeah, very odd clock here. Yeah. Um... Oh, it sounds like something broke. Maybe I'm doing something wrong. But how does it work? Huh, I don't know. Maybe I can ask for help. Yeah, maybe I'll have to ask someone. Oh. Huh, I would like to borrow that boat. Why? <laughs> just, we haven't really figured out what the hell's going on yet. Um, maybe we need to borrow the boat later on. Uh, what's this? Oh, a basket. It's empty. What do we have on us? Oh, I didn't actually examine this, did I? Okay. I found myself hunting the truth, but finding the unexpected. I found what my senses could show me. I found the truth that relays silently into the unknown, or in the unknown. Leon Castillo, or Castillo, one of the thousand. Hmm, many faces. This looks intriguing. Are the faces crying blood? Leon Castillo, one of thousand, or one of the thousand. I wonder what that means. July 11th, 1908. My name is Leon. I'm currently 92 years old, and living alone in a little house far away from the city. I have to admit, I never was fond of jewellery, houses, or clothing. Since childhood, I always talked to animals, plants, and insects, and even though I never got a response, I never quit. If you're reading this, maybe it's because you're looking for answers. Maybe you can see things that others can't, or you can feel what others avoid. You can listen to the silence, and become one with everything. Mr. Leon is old and seems sad. Hmm, let's see what he wrote. Maybe you can see things that others can't. Oh yes, that sounds a lot like me. Interesting. <laughs> December 17th, 1875. I can't stop it. I can't control it. I see the black shadows everywhere. The blood, the messages, the screaming, all the pain. I can't figure out why this is happening to me. The black shadows. I can see them too. They're everywhere. Hmm. Oh my god. I cry because it hurts. Inside my head. A stone of wisdom inside my head. December 19th, 1875. I had a vision. I'm still breathing fear. I feel at war with my own mind. One of the shadows came down from the sky. I thought it was an angel. Its name is Remor. Prince of Darkness, from the fifth reality. It talked to me, played with me, and showed me all the terrors. It told me that I was the key to its existence. Cry because it hurts. Hmm, creepy. Huh, the monster's making other people sick too. Inside my head with a stone of wisdom. Hmm. January 13th, 1876. I can see myself around. The other me. Tell me lies. Talks about all the pain and suffering in my life. The other me wants to commit suicide. He smiles while pronouncing the words, kill yourself. And I have tried hypnotized by his words, but there is always something saving me in the end. It must be the love... It must be the love to live. Poor oh, Mr. Leon. I like the drawings, though. Ah, that's nice. It must be the love to live. Hmm. So this is someone else who was plagued by the same things we were? January 15th, 1876. I meet a shadow. For the first time it talked to me. 
Kamalas. Their race is called the Kamalas. They haunt weakness and pain. They hunt weakness and pain. I asked it about the possession of human bodies and it said, We are born and feed from fear and the uncontrolled illness of human mind. We are invisible to them, but our existence grabs every single living cell of the body until the end. After that it started raining and it walked away from me, leaving a black oily path after it. I believe water may purify them. Oh? After seeing the Kamalas reacting to water, I thought of trying a little experiment. Last night I encountered something amazing. The Kamalas transform into a new kind of creature when exposed to water. The metamorphosis was painful to watch. After the terrible screaming, the Kamalas calmed down and started to cry. On the ground. <laughs> it felt like the pain was disappearing. After a few minutes, a bright and peaceful being was rising in front of me. We saw this. Wait, did I check this? Ah, this creature. Or oh, this creatures. I wonder why people can't see them. They exist and make people sick. Maybe that's the point. To realize they exist and get rid of them. Oh. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> they melt like wicked witches in fairy tales. Aw, oh, peaceful creatures. If I looked like them, I would go around scarring bad... I would go around scarring bad people, I see. Scaring bad people. My bad. <laughs> My reading today is not the best. It felt like the bright creature could read my thoughts. I thank you for waking me up. I was suffering. I must go where I belong. Ithar Star awaits. All Velocus must go there after waking up. If you wish to see the light, come with me. You have the key, it said. I didn't answer. After a while, it faded away. Hmm. Read thoughts? I think that's a bit scary. I guess we're always afraid of things we can't understand. Especially if they seem nice. I was reading my writings to see if I'm missing something. I recall Remor from the fifth reality. If there is a fifth reality, there must be at least four more. I was thinking that Ithastar may not be a city in this world, but a reality by itself. I wish all answers came to me. I deeply regret the fact that I didn't accept the Velocus invitation. Since I saw the Velocus, I keep seeing this diagram spinning in my head in a single sentence, oh, and a single sentence. Time is the rhythm of your perception. I don't understand the drawing. It looks interesting though. Maybe it's to show how time works, or how time looks like. There's so many pages to this. How many pages? Oh my god, there's so many pages. I wasn't expecting there to be so many pages. <laughs> Maybe I'll come back to this. We just got to the end of this one. Let's talk to this guy. <laughs> Hello. Good day, living creature. All good. What are you doing? Yes, I'm fine. What are you doing? I'm smelling this flower. Beautiful creation. Hmm. <laughs> waiting for someone. Are you waiting for somebody? I'm... I'm waiting for the lemons to grow. Do you like lemons? Uh... <laughs> I do, but Fran doesn't. <laughs> They're a bit sour for my taste, but lemonade is yummy. Lemonade is what I will do with the lemons. For the customers of the bar, you know. And we put some other stuff inside too, so we can fly. That sounds great. Fly? Wow, I would love to try that. It sounds great. Yeah, that is why I wait. You can't rush it. Hey, the bar opens in fall and, very, and a very awesome dancer will perform. You should come hang out. Maybe I will. It sounds fun. Thank you, bye. Okay, uh, talk to him again. Would you like to, would you like to join me in the waiting? I have to go home. Oh, I can't, I have to go home. Home? You are at home, my friend. The universe is your home. Oh, that's a very nice thought. Ugh, what is that smell? Oh, whoopee, my farts. <laughs> so the darkness won't haunt me, you know. It's weird though, I see no darkness. My goodness, it's really bad. <laughs> Well, I have to go. Bye. He's a stink bug. <laughs> oh dear. I thought he might tell me about how to use the clock. So this is the bar, is it? Ah, huh. it must say something important. Like the party is about to start or something. Or maybe the prices of the drinks you can buy. Right, yeah, yeah. Oh, I wonder what this is. It looks like a tropical party place. I hope they open it soon. It shows a mountain. It must be the mountain Cotram. 
I'm guessing that I can't go there yet. Because it's not winter. It's nothing here but trees and flowers. <sighs> this mountain top is very high. Because it's the top. <laughs> I see. I wonder what a talking mountain would sound like. Oh, I was going to say, is this a... I was going to ask if these were eyes and a mouth, and whether the wizard is the mountain. I guess it would sound very loud, like an earthquake. I think we're going to find out what it sounds like. <laughs> What's this way? Okay. There was something in my book about this. Volocus Shield. The Great Volocus is the beginning of the first reality, Primitive. Primeve Light. A prime eve light oh oh this is the alphabet this is the alphabet <laughs> are those letters they sound funny oh I like the mask I guess they call it shield two two nine nine seven nine two four five <laughs> oh my god four five nine years old well that's old locus body structure is quite different from other hours they are made out of photons and should and sound waves they're also both male and female when the youngster reach age this, they are crowned with the shield. So, I'm going to use this to determine what the writings say. Do I talk to this? Oh wow, what are you? You look like the fairies in my books. The purest of feelings, the light of all material, we are for Locus. Oh, you're very shiny, and you make me feel so happy, so very happy. Look, creature. One of the young Velocus will receive the shield. Ombakma. P oh, I bet you could translate this. Ooh, I bet you could translate this. Using the sound things. Wait, wait, wait. Did that work? Oh, I... <laughs> if it didn't work, then rip. Soldier of the sun, creature from the soil, fruit from the seed. Let the universe illuminate you with the truth, and be free. Huh? Where are you all going? We continue our paths to life. May freedom be with you, my friend. Sir, or miss, hmm, can you do magical things? The universe is already doing magic all the time. You are full of magic yourself. But I wish to know things, and it's odd. I feel like you know everything. We are the light, we are everywhere. What answers are you looking for? I want to know who killed my parents, and why is that big monster haunting me? The truth will come to those who seek. Your path towards truth is immense. You are living in a world that turns its back to you. You are too fragile to face the truth just now, and too strong to let it go. Aww. But... Dear, don't be sad. We have to keep on going. Yes, Kitty, you're right. Oh? Oh, this moves the arms of the Volocus. Incredible. Whoa, what a huge Volocus. It's not real, though. I wonder what they use it for. It has four arms. Maybe the Great Volocus has four arms. Yeah. Right, let's just examine the book. Let's just see if Steam actually took those screenshots that I tried to take. Nope. <laughs> it would seem that I have that disabled on my Steam. Well, yeah, I could probably, um... I probably find out what they were actually saying. Oh. Hey. <laughs> Those guys were like spooky in the in the real world. But now they're just like normal. I'm sure that there'll be some stuff to do with translating sentences. Uh, maybe we can go to the clock guy again and get some help. Sir, I have a little problem. Um, yes. I don't have any. <laughs> the clock is broken. The clock- the big clock on the tree, it's broken. I can't make it work. Please help me. A broken clock? That's a disgrace. Poor clock. You have to help me. Please fix it for me. I beg you. I have to go home. I never fix a clock for nothing. Otherwise my lifetime goes to waste. But- <laughs> What? My life's time? I thought you guys said that time was meaningless. <laughs> yeah. What do you mean? I charge one big gold coin per clock. Time is gold, you know. I don't have any coins. Hmm, then no clock will ever be fixed. Do it as a favor. Please, sir, as a favor, I need to go home. 
I can't help you then. Bring me a golden coin, or nothing will get will be fixed. I see. Thank you. I'll see if I can get some gold for you. Bye. Okay. Uh, we might have to do some trading. <laughs> oh, to carry heavy things. Oh, that's gold. Whoa, that's a lot of gold. Very shiny. Hello. Good day, young one. What are you doing? The war is about to start, and I can't see meaning in the meaningless. What do you mean? <laughs> Join me, young one. You'll be rewarded with one gold coin if you come back alive. Uh, join you? Join you where? The game is about to begin. You are the Kamalas. I am the Vlokas. Black and white, as shadows and light. It's a board game? Is this a sort of board game, sir? Yes, a board game. Let's immerse in this adventure. You're against me. I'll give you a coin if you win. Eh? What do you say? What are the rules? Yes, sir. Yes, sure. What are the rules? First to place three of the same figures in a diagonal, horizontal, or vertical line wins. We toss the machinery. We toss the machinery and see who begins. Are you in? Tic-tac-toe. Sure, it sounds like a game we used to play at school called Tic-tac-toe. But why would you just give me the gold if I win? Time is gold, and I'm very old. I've been around a long time. I just want to have a good time. I see. Well, let's play. Alrighty, then. I like to believe that I'm fairly good at... I, I used to be fairly good at tic-tac-toe. <laughs> I won. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> first try. <laughs> oh, I wish you to win multiple times. Okay. You always go for corner pieces. Uh, is it this one? Oh, he chose poorly. He actually could have ch placed it there and forced my hand. <laughs> I could have, that could have been a stalemate, but I, so wait, if I just keep playing, I can just keep getting gold coins? Um, he keeps, oh no, because he places it there to stop me winning, yeah, yeah, no, of course. <laughs> See, I could, you could win every time if you know what you're doing. <laughs> That's such as the nature of tic-tac-toe. Okay, no, let's, let's leave, let's leave. Very well done, little creature. You are a master. Yes, I am. <laughs> so I got, I got just the one, apparently. I have three gold coins, never mind. <laughs> it does store it. I was expecting to see multiple coins in here. Just like a little pile. Well, whatever the case, let's get this guy to fix the clock. He's going to do it for one gold coin, so that's fine. Sir, I have a little problem. Oh, it's going to go through the same text. Here, a gold coin. Here, sir, your gold coin. Oh, yes. But you have to offer me the job first, all right? Do it and be polite. Would you fix it? Oh, Sir Clockmaker, would you like to fix my clock? In exchange for this piece of gold in the name of, uh, time. And in the name of time. I beg of you, accept my offer. Of course. That was an incredible job offer. Very passionate. Great. Let's go to the big clock and fix it. <laughs> God, he's weird. Uh, dear. I wanted to, I kind of, I do want to talk to all the characters around the town, but, um, it's, it's going to take me ages to go through that. And, like, I want to read this whole book, but once again, it's going to take me ages to go through it. Hmm, you were right, the clock is broken. You can fix it, right? Of course, just a second. Duh. Weird. Hmm, yes, hmm, oh, there. What is it? Seems that somebody was playing a dirty game around this clock. What do you mean? I mean, somebody broke it. It's immoral, breaking into Vence's clock. Ugh. Why would somebody break it? Camelas, Winter, Mountain Cotron, the Stones. Many reasons, miss. Oh, what are you talking about? I don't understand. Camelas, the evil darkness. They work for Remor, the terrible black. 
And Camelots are the only ones allowed into this land. Oh, I missed his, the end of his dialogue there. Shit. It wouldn't surprise me. Ramar wants the stones. But what I don't understand is... For what purpose? Those stones are meaningless for him and his kingdom. And the stones are in wintertime. Is Ramor a, gi a giant black monster with a goat mask? A dead goat mask? Yes, you know him. Yes, I think it's because of him I'm in this land. I'm a human, you know. Oh, a human. Now I understand. I also need the stones. They're my way back home. I hope it's not too late. Haha. <laughs> that is why you need to go to the wintertime and go to Mount Cotrum. Yes, exactly. I have to talk with the great wizard and borrow the stones. Hmm, well, it's fixed now. I'll give you something that will make it easy, easy for you. Here. Oh. It's a remote control for the clock. Oh, okay. <laughs> You'll be able to time travel into all four seasons in just a quick turn. But it's just a prototype, so it may not work if you are too far away. And remember, time is an infinitely, infinite layered reality, so be careful. I'll be careful. Thank you very much. You're a very nice clock ma maker guy. Please, call me Cogwind. Alright, Mr. Cogwind. I'm Fran, by the way. See you soon. Bye. Oh, it works like our pills, I guess. <laughs> oh, shit. Um, oh, this guy's gone. Huh, I don't have any need to climb that ladder. Let's go up the mountain. Oh, there's just an opening now. <laughs> I'm guessing this is the wizard? I don't understand, but I recognize some of the symbols. Plus, minus, multiplication, and other time, and other things. It must be some mathematical stuff. Oh, wait, wait. Is it like, plus, minus, times, divide, square root, and, well, I don't know what that is. <laughs> um, but this, maybe this is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10... 11, 12, oh, what, what were these? 20, 30, 40? 1 plus 1. Well, anyway, let's talk to the <laughs> the wizard. Oh, are you the great wizard, sir? <laughs> it just doesn't say anything. I need your help. Sorry, sir, I'm Fran and I need your help. Is this the mountain Cotrim? Excuse me, can you talk? You have too many questions, that's good. Uh, the king's- oh sorry sir, the king told me you could help me. What the king says we do. I need to borrow the stones. Mm-hmm. I need you to lend me the stones to open the door to my world. The stones are missing and I- I don't remember where they are. Every time they seek, I hide. Every time I hide, I forget. So they can't be found. I'll help you find them. Oh, I see. But maybe I can help you find them. I just want to know the biggest answer of them all. How does the rabbit do it? I saw it once. A human did it. The rabbit came from an empty hat. How? This is the greatest question of all time. Uh, of all of them. Uh, was it to say all time? Of all? I don't know. Because if nothing exists, then the nothing exists. And if the nothing exists, then there is no nothing. I wonder again, how? Uh, ask the person who did it. Sir, why don't you ask the person who did it? Oh, I- oh, I have a visitor. Good day, what brings you to the Great Wizard? That means me, just so you know. Wait, is he not just talking to us the whole time? <laughs> Good day, sir. The king sent me here for the stones. The stones? Ah, it's been a long time since no somebody came around asking for those. I made the f most fantastic spell of all time so nobody could find them. You know, the Black Shadows, the Camelas, they try to steal them all the time. So I have to be sure. Uh, I need the stones. But sir, I need the stones. This is not my home. Hmm, the stones are hiding. I only remember the four riddles that are connected to the stones. Four riddles that will unlock my memory. Only when all four riddles are answered correctly, I'll be able to tell you where to, f where to find five items. These items are the stones in their layered reality. Then, the only one who can bring them back is me. Uh, tell me the riddles. I see. Well, tell me the riddles. There's no time to lose. Let me show you. I don't know what to expect. 
<laughs> I don't know anything to expect. This is the star of Ithastir. This is the star of Ithastar. Umk Umkar Beh. The greatest god of the sky. The greatest caretaker of this land. Uh, where are the riddles? Hmm. And what do I have to do, sir? What are the riddles? I'll give you the four riddles written down in the language of everything. The answer is always one item. Place the items on the star of Ithastar on their respective symbols. And after that, I'll be able to tell you where, to, where the stones are. Okay. Oh, I see. Okay. Oh, thank you very much, Sir Wizard. Oh, Sir Wizard? The king told me you could make me human again. Did he? Hmm. I think that's true. I barely remember how to do it, though. You don't remember? But I can't go home like a tree. I understand. But I can't help you right now. I'll have to recover some of my knowledge. Perhaps we can try to make you a human again after you find the first stone. Oh, that would be incredible. Yes, incredible and great. Just try to figure out the riddles and I'll guess everything will be fine. Sir, do I need something special to become a human? I think the smell is very important, if I remember correctly. So bring me your clothes and we'll see how it goes. <laughs> that sounds like a riddle. Uh, I'll bring them later. Alright, sir. I'll bring you my clothes later. Bye. Have a look. Right, so there'll be one, two, three, four. Right? I'll have to check that. That's <laughs> my, uh, my uh, little wood feet. <laughs> one, two, three, four. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Let's have a look at this really quick. What a lovely rabbit. I wonder if the wizard sewed it. He did a good job. I'll try to do my own when I get back home. Stuff to do magic with, I guess. It's not being... This is not being used. Aldrin? The great wizard is making something here. I wonder what? Maybe it's just soup. It smells lovely. Like blueberries. Mmm. Alright, we won't... prod around his home too much. <laughs> if I need an item, I'll come back and have a look. Oh? Oh. What the frick was that? Oh, Kitty, did you see that? Did you? Yes, my dear, I saw it. What was it? Huh, I think it's the shadows. Oh dear, I don't want them. I want, don't want to see them again. Again? Yes, Kitty. They were all over the place in the hospital. I want to go home. We will go home soon, my dear. Kitty, can you make me a promise that whatever happens, you and I will always be on the same side? Of course, my dear, I promise. Great. Now we have to keep on going. Okay, let's change this to a... This is spring. Summer. Autumn. Or fall. Winter. Okay, wait, if we go to... Is it fall? That the, um... Uh, is the bar open? Good day, little lady. Can you show me your ticket, please? How do I get one? Hello, sir. I don't have a ticket. How do I get one? What? All Ither Star citizens get a ticket. Why don't you have yours? I'm not a citizen. Sir, maybe that's why. Not a citizen? That's new. Too new for me, though. Sorry, little lady, I can't let you in. Uh... What to do, then? Alright, sir, I understand. But what can I do, then? I really would like to go inside. I don't know. This has never happened before. Hmm. I guess I'll have to find my own way to get inside. Thank you. Bye. Yeah, okay. Uh... So... Is it not before? Oh, it's open in summer and fall. Hm. Alright, well, let's go to... Uh... What the... Polontris turned into... Polontris, sir? Wait, don't go! Oh no, he looked really bad, Kitty. Wasn't that the doctor? Maybe he can cure himself. I hope so, Kitty. He was so hurt that he lost his feather. I wonder what happened. I'll take that. Oh, this is Polontris's feather. Hope it gets better soon. It has blood on it. Hmm. Alright. I'm cold as I am. Oh, wait. Uh. Hmm, so I have to answer the, the riddles. And place my answer on the right symbol of the star. Yes, I can do this. The answers can be closer than I imagine. <laughs> I'm cold as I am, but if you use me, 
I'll be burning. I'll be burning hard. I'm shiny as the sun, but I'll never burn you. Perhaps a sour smile, I'll get you. Flow, flow, cold-blooded sun. Let your body dance through the rising stream. Oh, cold-blooded sun. Not sun, but sun. <laughs> Light and hollow. I'm the freedom of birds and the pen of men. Oh, okay. Uh, we've got the. We've just got the feather. That's the fourth riddle item. Okay. The freedom of birds, the feathers, and the pen of men is a quill. Okay. Okay. We've got one of them already. Good to know. Uh, can I just pull this now? And... It works wonderfully. What will it be? Summer? Winter? <laughs> yeah. So now we can we can activate it here, or we can activate it by clicking that. Oh. Oh look, kitty. Get in the boat. We're going for a ride. I'm assuming we're going to the other side of the river. Oh, I should actually just bring the... I was going to say, I should just brung... Brought... Brung. Oh, this is fun. Woohoo! <laughs> I was going to say, we should have just brought the feather straight back to the mountain to get our body back. Yeah, let's just do that. Let's just do that. Oh, can we get this fishing rod? Oh, a fishing rod. It seems to be broken. Oh, he's getting his lemon. <laughs> okay, let's place the feather here. Here's a feather with this. Not sure what it, oh. <laughs> okay, we have to go here. Use it on the fourth one. I place Pelotus' feather right here. Can I now, can you explain the riddles again? Oh, well, <laughs> I see. Place the correct answers in the correct spot on the star over the star. I don't understand. But I'm in another reality, so it's okay. <laughs> can't waste time trying to understand things that I can't. Yep. I, I couldn't agree more. I'm gonna guess that for the most part, the winter... It's gonna be dark, yeah. And not very many people. Come closer, Fran. I have the one thing you desire. I have what you are looking for. <laughs> mommy? Is that you, Mommy? My beloved daughter, come close. Let me feel you. Mommy, I'm scared. There's nothing to be afraid of. You have you have to come closer, Fran. I want to kiss you. But you can't be my mother. She's dead. You have to come closer now. If you don't, the big monster will come and get you. No, you are not my mommy. Leave me alone. My darling, the big monster will come and get you. He will come and get you. He will come and get you. Mommy, you're scaring me. Mommy, please stop. I was gonna say, it'll switch season to no longer have the scary monsters. Yep. Well. <laughs> oh, I can go to the library and learn stuff. Uh, that was required for... It was like summer? Was it? Oh, maybe the, the whole sour smile thing. Maybe that's the lemon. Go back here. He's got his lemon. Let's switch it back to... Back to summer. So he's got his lemons. Sir, can I take one of your lemons? What was his voice again? I'm sorry, lovely. The lemon resources are quite limited. I can't let you take them. I take all the lemons to the basket can carry. That means all the lemons from the tree. Gonna say, is he gonna drop a lemon as he walks away? Huh. I don't have any need to climb that ladder. I recognize this kind of tree. Aunt Grace has one at home. Wait, yeah, I'm gonna guess that he walks in there. So I need to get a a thing to get inside the bar to get the lemon. Yeah, that's what it'll be. But I also want to go back to where was that? Oh, can I just use this boat? Or is this boat builder guy gonna be like, They must be extra extraordinary boats with special abilities. I wish I could fly back home with one of these. But I guess I can't. I don't have superpowers. Wait, wait, wait. Let's go back to the where the free boat was. Because I'm gonna guess that we can boat to the other side where our clothes are. And that's what's gonna be required for getting our body back. Our human body back. I'll try and do that for the, re for the end of this episode. We'll try and get our body back. Yeah, oh, perfect. <laughs> this is where we, uh, 
Oh, friend, this is where we were before. I fixed the breach to get your purse. Wow, Kitty, you're very clever. I hope we find my things. Yeah. Yay. <laughs> Kitty, I can't find my pills. Maybe the pills are not here. Maybe you lost them. Well, they weren't doing me any good anyways. Maybe they will appear someday. Let's keep going now. Yes, I found you, my dear clothes. Come to your one and only, oh, one and only owner or master or uh, something like that. What is this rod? It doesn't have a hook and the fishing line is too short. My beautiful clothes, they smell fine. I don't need to wash them. Oh, that must be the castle. Looks like a pineapple from here. <laughs> um, yeah, I think we need to bring this to the wizard and he will get us our, <laughs> you know, get us our human body back. Uh, let's see if I can use the clothes on him. <laughs> oh, smelly clothes. I can make you human yet. I can't make you human yet. We have to find the first stone. Oh, the first stone, not the first item here. Okay. Okay, my bad. Yeah, so I might <laughs> I might not be able to do that today. <laughs> Let's go back to the, the library and learn some things. I forget what season the library is open. Uh, but we can just keep changing the time. It wasn't open in the spring. Was it the... Was it summer? No. Uh, during fall and winter. Okay. <laughs> Stop right there. Do you have the password? Oh no, what password? The library password, of course. You must have it to come inside. Uh, I didn't know that. I didn't know I needed a password. Of course you need a password. A certain wizard can help you. Hmm, alright. I'll see if I can find the password then. Bye. God damn it. I was just at the wizard. <laughs> I wonder if I can buy a flying boat and that'll help me get around faster. Okay. <laughs> can you explain the- oh, no. Mm. I said a wizard was able to tell me, but it didn't- he didn't tell me. Damn it. Oh, all well, the shadows are gone now. Good. What's well, actually this way when I go- when I'm in the winter? Yeah, everyone's gone. I thought as much. Is anybody around? Hello? Hello? Huh. Yeah, so it's just, it's barren. Let's talk to the boat guy. Good day, sir. Good day, little creature. Flying boats? I haven't, I have seen flying boats, sir. How does that work? Think about them floating on water, but instead of water, it's air. It's so simple. Could I borrow one? One of your boats to fly away? I want to go home. Oh, go home. I see. Sadly, these boats only work with Ithisten eyes. Huh, I see. Well, thank you, sir. Have fun making your boat. Nah. Damn it. Oh well. well. Let's talk to the people. Hello, little root. You're so cute. Oh, thank you. You're cute, too. That's too similar to... Oh, thank you. You're cute, too. I'm Fran. Hehe. <laughs> I'm Fran. And you? Me. No, I'm not Fran. I'm Zelma. I want to sing all day long. Favorite song? Hehe, <laughs> what's your favorite song? My favorite song is like this. One and one or two. One and two or three. Two and three or five. And, and three and five or eight. I don't remember any more of that. I learned that at school. It's fun. Oh, that sounds very mathematical. I have to go now. You, are be you have beautiful fruits, by the way. See you. <laughs> yeah, so it's trying to t tell us about like certain sequences and mathematical things. Apparently, seemingly there's a few things that involve like numbers and and because we know what the numbers are, we can translate the numbers. Hello, lady. Is there any news? Good day. Would you like to read the newspaper? I can't read. Ithist, uh, um, what is Ithistar's language called? Don't you know? It's called Ithis, Ithanish. Are you a tourist? Yes, I am. He, <laughs> yes, I am a tourist. My name is Fran. Wait, what voice did I give it? <laughs> I gave it, I've given it like three separate voices. I've never seen a tourist before, and I've never seen a Fran either. Welcome to Ithistar. I hope you'll have fun here. Thank you so much. I have to go now. Bye. Yeah, I had a feeling that most of these people were, were just going to be like flavor text. Hello, miss. I think you have beautiful fruits. Thank you, dear. Would you like some? Mission to go home. 
Oh no, I'm on a mission to go back home. And I want to be hungry when I get there. Oh, so from what part of Ithastar are you? Are you from outside the island? No, I'm not from Ithastar at all. I'm a human. Oh, a human. That's new. Well, I hope you complete your mission. Thank you, miss. I certainly will. See you. Hello, I'm Fran. What are you doing? Good day. I'm Pruta, and I'm molding this piece of iron. For what? I had to deliver a few clock pieces to the clockmaster. You make all kinds- Oh, I see. So you can do all kind of metallic stuff? Sure. If you have some ideas, we can talk about them and padam. I do it. Padam. I do it. <laughs> That's very good to know. Thank you, sir. Well, I have to keep working, but if you need my services, you know where I am. I don't think I need your services yet. Hello. Ah, who is there? Who? Can't you see? Me, Fran. Can't you see? Oh, now I see. A little. You have four eyes. Wow. <laughs> What are you s four eyes? I- I don't have- uh, what are you selling? Only the best plobus of this entire land. Do you want to smell it? They look like coconuts. Sure, they look like coconuts. It's poo, miss. Poo that I collect. They're not coconuts. <laughs> oh, that caught me off guard. <laughs> Poo? Like in the toilet? Well, I thought it was really bad to eat poo. Bad? Why? It's very yummy. We love it here. It makes everything grow and shine. <laughs> I have to get going now. Good luck with the plobus. Bye. Because <laughs> they're all like vegetables and trees and and then the, and then bogs and stuff. And he's like a, he must be a dung beetle. <laughs> uh. Greetings. Are you interested in fabric and thread? I have some. Why do you use fabric? Out of curiosity, miss. For what purpose do you use fabric? Everybody is naked. Okay, it's a miss. Well, whatever you need it for. We also have thread for making other things. I see. Hmm, I have to go, miss. Have a nice day. Bye. Okay. <laughs> yeah, so it's fairly pointless. Okay, I'm a little bit confused now. What do I do? How does one get a ticket <laughs> for this? This what top one must be like a candle or a or a match, or something like that. Oh, this flower looks like it's waiting to bloom. Wait, let's let's make it bloom. There we go. Oh, the flower's beautiful. It's so different from the rest. Ouch, it has thorns. Well, that's brave. I should also have thorns to harm the evil monster. <laughs> okay. Hmm, covered in snow and ice. I can't sail with this one. Oh, can I walk across... No, I can walk out onto what was the pier. Yeah. Okay, well I'm gonna have to probably leave this here. And we'll figure out- Oh, I do have a fishing rod. Maybe I can get the fish. Maybe that's what the third riddle is. Flow for flow, cold-blooded sun, let your body dance through the rising stream. Maybe it's a fish? Yeah, I don't know. Whatever the case, I'm gonna have to figure out how to get a lure. Uh, for this. And that's the only lead I have, I think? I, I wanna get into the- bar to get the lemon and I want to get the password so I can get into the library but like that's those are the only real clues and hints that I have towards the the solution I might have to go back to the king and ask him some you know for some help or whatever uh, but we'll leave that we'll do all that in the next episode <laughs> whatever the case if you like what you saw hit like if you want to see more from me then subscribe this area is super interesting <laughs> I like the mechanic of this because it's just, it's a bit like having the the like other world from the duo team but like four of them <laughs> you have you have like four worlds instead of like the reality and then the duo team reality <laughs> yeah that's no, cool i really like it thank you so much for watching and until next time